setting up VMware Backup in NetBackup 5220. We are going to use the NetBackup Administration Console. I'm going to run the Backup Policy Wizard and choose VMware or Hyper-V Backup. Now let us name the policy. In this case, I'm going to call it as VM underscore Backup. After that, I need to choose a backup host for VMware. In this case, that is going to be NB App 1, which is my NetBackup 5220 appliance. This configuration screen has pretty much everything that you need for virtual machine backup. For most of which the default settings are automatically selected for you. You do have the option of course to make changes. For example, you may want to change the way virtual machine backups are indexed in the backup catalog. You may want to change the way the backup handles orphan snapshots. You may want to instruct the policy to specifically look for uh, mission critical applications like Exchange, SharePoint, or SQL Server. You can enable, disable, or change the priorities for various transport methods that NetBackup supports. Choose the advanced options for utmost flexibility. Here you can change the way virtual machines are quiesced. You can select various types of disks specifically for backups. You can control the type of events that are being posted into the virtual center interface. Thus, even the virtual machine administrator using the virtual center console will have the visibility to the backup backups. Now let us look at the way virtual machines are added to the backup policy. There are two methods to do this. First, we are going to concentrate on the manual method. In the manual method, you can browse your vSphere infrastructure right within that backup and look for the virtual machines that you want to protect. You can select the virtual machines at the virtual machine level or you can select at the container level like ESX server or cluster or vApps. Once the virtual machine selection is complete, the procedure is not much different from how you would be protecting a physical system. At this point, you can specify the kind of backups that you want the policy to do. You define the frequency for running those backups. You define the retention level. And after that, last but not the least, in the next screen, you will be choosing the backup window. So here is the backup schedule window where you have the option to choose from off hours to all day or custom.